Now, part of me wishes that I had a guardian angel growing up to get me out of situations that I could not get myself out of. But at the same time, honestly, I think guardian angels are only in TV shows because I think there was a TV show back when I was a kid that had a guardian angel that I really wanted. It was like this really cool dude that really supported him through high school. If you guys know the show, comment it down below. But anyways, today's story is basically my worst moment in my life. You guys love these stories so much, so make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And on top of that, well, I just want to say I love you and I'm streaming live on kick right now as we speak so join me live on kick link down below in the description anyways other than that let's get straight into this yo what is going on you guys my name's bubba and welcome back to another insane story so today's story takes place back when i was in high school this was my grade 10 year and honestly i will say one thing i was really always doing the devil's tango and talking to a bunch of different women now the problem with me though growing up is that when i would talk to girls i would never actually be able to understand what to do or what to say really because don't get me wrong as much as i've done the devil's tango Go. I would always be straight up to the point with them saying, hey, yeah, like you down to smash. I would never actually go up to a girl and actually like, you know, put my time and effort into them. And since I've done so many women throughout my high school at that time in grade 10, a lot of women already knew about me and were already basically disgusted by me because word got around that I was just trying to basically get my body count up, which I mean, fair enough. My body count is 131 right now. Anyways, going on with the story, I remember basically one time when I went to school, there was a girl in our school that really did not know about me that much. Much. She wasn't a new girl or anything. She's been in our school, but for some reason, she just didn't really care about drama. So me knowing that she was probably the only girl in my school that I could probably go and tap and do the devil's tango. I decided to go up to her and kind of like have a conversation with her. I remember when I went up to her, I told her, hey, like, I haven't really spoke to you. Like, what's your name? She looked at me and she said, oh, like, hi, what, what do you want? And she already seemed like she didn't want to talk to me. But then I decided to say that she really looked cute. And, you know, I just wanted to know how she's doing instead of straight up asking her, hey, like, you trying to smash? later because obviously that wasn't gonna work this time i remember she ended up starting to talk and stuff and one thing i realized is that when you approach a woman to just basically have a normal conversation they can go on for a rant for hours on end but basically this girl just kept talking about family she talked about school she talked about her career in psychology by the way girls out there why is everyone taking psychology like seriously do you really need to go in depth with men's brains like that's like seriously we, all we want is that is that you know is that vajaja you know what i'm saying sorry not the point but going on i remember basically I was kind of just hanging out and basically talking to her as she just kept talking and talking. And I would always make these side comments as she was speaking going, oh yeah, cool. Okay. Oh, I understand. Oh yeah. When in reality, I had no idea what she was talking about. And then I want to say like, after like 20 minutes of me standing in that hallway with her, she ended up saying, you're actually like a really good listener. Wait, I have a question. Do you have Snap? And at that point, I knew I was in and I added her on Snapchat. Don't get me wrong. I had to suffer for 20 minutes, but hey, no harm, no foul, right? At least that's what I thought. I remember later on that school day, I I ended up getting a snapchat from her and she kept messaging me about the same things she was talking about earlier for some reason people don't like to leave a topic alone but then i remember i ended up telling her oh like what are you doing today after school she ended up messaging me how she was planning on basically going to hang out with her friends and stuff and i told her oh like if you want i'm down to hang out with you she ended up finding it weird that i wanted to hang out with her after talking to her for the first time but at the same time she thought it was cute so anyways after school that day i remember me and her we ended up going to the park and we ended up hanging out with her friends her friends seemed really odd and honestly I will say this much, they didn't seem to really care about me. But at the same time, though, I just wanted to speak to them and, you know, kind of get a glimpse of what girl I'm working with here. Because the girl looked attractive, but at the same time, if a girl's a certain amount of attractive, there's always a certain amount of crazy on board. So I ended up basically talking to them, and one thing they ended up telling me was that she was very possessive. Now, if you guys don't know what possessive means, basically, think of the goblin from The Hobbit. You know, the one that goes, my precious. Basically, it's one of those. So me knowing that, I thought maybe this girl would get attached to me too quickly, and I thought it would be best to back off. But as I walked up to her to tell her I was going home from hanging out with her, she ended up telling me, oh, like, do you want to, like, come over? Like, right now? Is what I ended up telling her. And then she ended up telling me, yeah, like, let's just, like, hang out. Like, come on. Um, I guess, is what I said. So I remember me and her, we ended up leaving her friends, and we ended up going straight to her place. When we got to her place, I realized that she lived in a very interesting home. No, it wasn't, like, a normal house. It was more of one of those houses houses that seemed really sketchy like we all lived in neighborhoods right now imagine like there's nice houses in the neighborhood and then there's a one occasional ugly house that was basically her house so i remember i end up going inside this house and i look around and i think wow okay this is definitely a fixer upper but then afterwards i remember i went to go sit down with her on the couch but then she told me oh like do you want to see my collection what's your collection is what i asked her and then that's when i realized i ended up going 
to her room. She opened her closet and I look inside the closet. And I'm like, what am I looking at here? Dresses? And then that's when it happened. She ended up pushing me inside the closet and closing the door. I was like, wait, what are you doing? Is what I asked. And then she's like, oh, I know who you are, Bubba. And I know what you're doing. Okay. And honestly, you're going to stay here with me. And if you want me to do it with you, you're going to stay in there for me. Wait, what? You're locking me in here is what I asked her. I thought she was joking at first. So I ended up kind of moved the doorknob, but it wouldn't move to the point where I ended up slamming it as hard as I could and basically thinking I could probably break this door down. But then afterwards, I remember she ended up saying, uh, 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 don't do that. And then that's when I realized that she ended up putting like a bookshelf kind of in front of the door. So I couldn't break it down. I remember I tried to get my phone out of my pocket, but I realized that I left it in my backpack when I went to go hang out with her friends. So she had access to my phone and my backpack and my homework. Well, I don't really care about the homework, but still she had access to all my items. At that point, I was worried. And I remember I was looking around the room trying to see what I could do to basically get out. And then that's when I realized there wasn't really anything I could do. Luckily, there was a light in there. So I remember I ended up looking at the light and basically turning it on and basically just sitting in the closet waiting for my, I guess, guardian angel to come. I don't know what to do. Honestly, I was just really scared. I want to say four hours went by and I've been sitting in there hungry and I was really upset. But then out of nowhere, I remember I ended up hearing a, like a computer or something. Basically, it was someone watching Victorious, the TV show. I was super confused and I'm like, wait, I hear something. I put my ear up against the door and I realized it was her watching a show. So I remember at that point, I ended up slamming the door as much as I could to basically make her notice that I really wanted out. And then she ended up coming up against the door saying, okay, what is it, Baba? I'm hungry, is what I told her. So she said, okay, well, like, what do you want? Uh, McDonald's, is what I said. So she ended up ordering McDonald's for me, and the way she ended up giving it to me was the most weirdest way possible. She ended up basically moving the bookshelf, opening the door super quick, and then closing it right away, and threw the bag inside of there. And since I ordered a filet -O fish tartar sauce got everywhere, dude. Like, it was so unfair and uncool. But I was super sad. Anyways, as I was eating my McDonald's, I was trying to think of a way to get out of there. So I thought, hey, maybe like, you know, one of her parents will come home and, you know, they'll let me out. So I ended up basically sitting in there until I heard a voice of another person. I want to say another half an hour went by and then afterwards I heard another voice come in. It sounded like a guy. So I remember I ended up hearing that voice and I started slamming the door once again. Except this time, the girl didn't come to the door to say something. It was the guy. The guy says, yo, who's in there? And I'm like, hey, like, can you let me out? I'm stuck. After I said that, he didn't say anything. I was confused. I was wondering why is he not saying anything? And then I realized the girl ended up coming into the room saying, oh, like, just ignore that. Okay, bro. Brother? Bro? I thought she was an only child. And apparently that's when I figured out she lived with her brother and, um, yeah, she had no parents. Huh. Talk about being a dumb orphan. Sorry. Sorry. I love orphans. Like Batman's an orphan and I love Batman. But going on with the story, I remember as I was panicking, freaking out, not knowing what to do. But then I heard my phone ring and that's when I realized that my phone was ringing. And the reason I knew it was my phone is because I have swerving by Boogie with a hoodie and 6 9 as my ringtone. Actually, I still have it to this day. So I remember when I heard my phone ring, I was upset and I was getting upset, like really mad to the point where I knew I need to get out of there. So I ended up making a plan. I remember I ended up slamming the door as much as I can. It was super late at night. I want to say I was in there for more than over 10 hours. And I remember I was slamming the door and I guess it was super late. And then I remember out of nowhere, the girl ends up saying, what do you want? In her tired voice. And I end up saying, I'm hungry again, please. She ended up going to get food and she brought me cereal. Except this time when she opened the door, she opened it really slowly. So that took me enough time to basically slam the door with my shoulder as much as I can, opening the door and tackling her and basically grabbing my stuff and leaving as fast as I could. And that wasn't even the scariest part. The scary part was, was that her brother heard what was going on and ended up chasing Chasing me outside when I grabbed all my stuff. Luckily, my phone was in my bag and she didn't touch it, so there wasn't really that much stuff to grab. It was really just grabbing my backpack with everything in it. And as I was running with my bag in my hand, I was sprinting for my life. I kept running and running and running until I ran all the way home. It was like a 30 minute drive, but I ended up running it in like 10 minutes. I don't know, I guess I was Sonic or something. And then that's when I realized when I got home, I knocked on my door, and when I knocked on the door, a police officer answers it saying, Are you Bubba? Yeah, is what I said. And then that's when I went in there and told the statement and the next day the girl ended up getting arrested for kidnapping me since you know i was still a kid honestly i'll say this much part of me wishes i had a guardian angel anyways guys that is basically it for today's story make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like i always say fall for more embarrassing but crazy stories peace out guys